My name is Alf Edgington. Uh, my age is 77. Uh, my name's Dan Martin. I'm 17. I've been a member of Thanet since 2009. I'm actually Alf's grandson. Uh, my mother is his daughter. Before, before riding with the club, um, it was straight after the war. It was actually the early, very early 50s. Kids were cycling around on bikes made of junk um, and doing wheels and all sorts of things over over bomb sites, um, and they got known as the Skid Kids. <laughs> and um, parents got rather alarmed at the dangers of doing this, and they got together, organised. Cycle Speedway and Cycle Speedway became a big thing, especially in the Asheville area in the early 50s. And we ended up with 14 clubs in the league. Each club had its own special name. I rode for a, a, part, a, a part of Ashford uh, known as Newtown because it was a railway, railway uh, village. And um, we called ourselves the Newtown Panthers and uh, modelled ourselves on motorcycle speedway. And that was really the beginning of my cycling. So uh, at what point did you move from speedway to, to road cycling? Um, the first thing that tempted me was one of the spectators, and we used to get a lot of spectators coming to watch the speedway because it was proper organised events, uh, run on exactly like motorcycle speedway the, um, rules. Um, during, one of the spectators came on a bike which happened to be a Bianchi and I saw it and I thought that's the most wonderful thing I've ever seen. Well, I'll be Celeste and, That's right and uh, from, from that moment on I was sold and as soon as, uh, as the story um, behind how I got my first bike but um, as soon as I could get a decent bike of the day, um, I started riding and then joined the Ashford Wheelers. So um, I first got involved with cycling, obviously coming from a cycling family when I was about oh, seven, I think. Uh, my parents bought me my first road bike in a jumble, a cycle jumble sale over Ashford, I think. It was a... Uh, Jeffrey Butler in uh, blue steel job. It had the, uh, the down tube shifters still, even though everyone else was already on uh, of STI levers and everything. And uh, well, I, I uh, got that bike. I started riding it around with Dad a bit, and then a, a small little uh, a bike shop in Canterbury opened like a small little um, club for kids to learn how to ride basic bike skills uh, down and cycles in Canterbury, and. I started off there just sort of riding around, it's actually the car park behind the uh, old Skoda garage I think mm. in Canterbury, we just sort of riding around past people with houses, uh, having little races every weekend. And uh, then I got uh, a cross bike actually, one of the, the little uh, Isla bikes which are now really popular amongst kids. And there's the, uh, the Crab and Winkle uh, Way that runs from Canterbury to Whitstable and we used to go up and down there a lot. And uh, that's sort of where it really started. Um, yes, well, as I said previously, my first club was the Ashford Wheelers, um, and immediately started time trialling, uh, and rode uh, all over Kent, and even into Surrey, Sussex, Essex. Um, but the thing it was in those days, very few people had cars. So everywhere, everywhere we, we raced, we had to ride to. Ride there, race, ride home. Um, if it was too far away, we'd stay the night, perhaps um, bed and breakfast somewhere. But uh, invariably, it was somewhere that knew 
what cyclists are required because we had to get up about four o'clock in the morning to get to a time trial that started lots at six. Lots of food as well. Yeah, that's right, yeah. lots of food. Yeah, that's exactly right. So, so that was uh, that was the first thing. A lot, a lot of events were, were local. Um, the Kent Cycling Association were pretty active. Um, fields were good in those days. We get 120. In those days, 120 was a full field, um, and we get that on quite a regular basis. Um, the first the day, well, uh, I suppose I would have been about 17. I was 16 when I first started riding with the Ashford Wheelers. Um, At that point, was 16 still the youngest you could be? To be it to was officially, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, so my first experience with a club probably was about 2008-ish when I uh, joined Down of Cycles, which was a shop in Canterbury who ran a kids club designed to teach them basic sort of cycling skills to get uh, to and from school safely as, as opposed to sort of your standard racing uh, club, go ride club kind of thing. And uh, naturally I uh, sort of uh, got good enough to where at the point where I moved over to VC Deal in 2008-2009 about 10 who uh, did sessions every weekend on the Crabble circuit over in Dover had a road loop and an off-road loop and when, uh, when I turned up my first time I actually turned up on a road bike to find out it was a mountain biking club so I did a couple of laps on the road circuit before moving into, over to a higher bike to do some mountain biking skills but obviously my passion has always been for road so uh, after a while I still were uh, I was I was in VC Deal in the club name but I started racing on the road up at Foundlead which uh, that's where I actually discovered Thanet but uh, I stayed with VC Deal for a bit longer because obviously the Thanet didn't actually have their go ride section at that point. It was just uh, an adult club. There was no real kids section. And uh, I raced a couple of times for VC Deal. I never actually did any mountain bike racing. So as I say, I'd always been uh, more passionate for the road. But uh, I really developed my sort of my actual proper racing skills at VC Deal. That's where I learned my, my, my proper bike handling rather than just being able to corner and uh, ride safely. I think that after that, I was, uh, in 2011-ish, it must have been, or it might have been 2010, basically, when Thanet first started their Go Ride Club. As I said, I, as I said I've been uh, racing at Thalmead. Uh, it was actually a, a race put on by Thanet, and uh, shortly after their Go Ride Club started, and obviously we'd uh, had contact within Thanet, obviously with uh, you being in Thanet, and shortly after I moved across to the Go Ride section, I was actually, I think, the third junior to ever join the go ride section of the club. Well, that it. Um, when uh, I was with the Ashford Wheelers um, right up until I think it was about 80, 1980, 81, um, and by this time we were moved, we were we were living uh, in Canterbury, and it was. Come to the conclusion that um, Thanet would be um, better f for me and, and my young son, uh, who was keen on cycling, to join the Thanet. Uh, so in the early 80s, I joined the Thanet, and I've been with them ever since. Um, uh, I've done a fair amount of riding as a veteran with uh, with the Thanet. Uh, I was. For a number of years I was uh, a member of the committee and for I think it was three years I was the chairman of the club. Um, several years I took on the job of timekeeping evening tins and so on um, and thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, and uh, as, as, as I got older I gone away from competition and one or two one or two problems have sort of prevented me doing as much riding as, as, as I'd like but um, uh, I still still enjoy what I do and uh, still maintain contact with, with the club and uh, uh, I just enjoy, enjoy it all really that's, mm. a, that's about the size of it 
Are those, is that, that sort of pub lunch you mentioned earlier, are they all planet members as well? Um, no, it was a bit of a mixture with, with the, with the uh, our monthly uh, lunch. Um, there's uh, two, two fellas come over from Ashford, who are my old Ashford Wheeler pub mates. One fellow comes from Margate, who is also an ex Ashford Wheeler, and I think he was in the planet for a, a, a while. Um, then you've got um, you've got two other riders who were actually members of the Canterbury Cycling Club um, when uh, during the time when I met uh, met my wife. Um, they. They are not really active in club life, but still, still enjoy a ride and still um, follow the sport. So um, that's that's about our little group for uh, for our lunches. Um, there's another couple of odd odd fellas that come from time to time. Um, uh, both of them either are or have been. So uh, as I mentioned, when the Go Ride Club started, I was the third member uh, turning up to that. So I, uh, I obviously I turned up to the Go Ride se uh, session, still technically a member of BC Deal, but uh, shortly after I actually moved my subscription to Thanet. Obviously, being a road club rather than a mountain biking club, it was much more suited for me. And uh, so sort of from there, it really, I. I uh, Took a few years out when I was about 12, 11-ish or so. So I, I saw I developed a real passion for rugby. And then when I was around 14, I really properly returned uh, after my dad. He just had a, an op as well. So I so I had to take a year out then when I couldn't actually get to the sessions. And I saw I came back with a bit more force of it. And I really wanted to take it seriously. By that point, I had put in a bit too much weight from the rugby. So <laughs> it really was uh, a case of, Cycling really sort of took over. I uh, took it really seriously. Took my racing seriously. I think the uh, the year after I came back, I took part in the national schoolboy championship, the GHS, uh, for the first time. Obviously, I still wasn't actually properly in my best at that point. So that was my first full ever season of racing. So I uh, really I focused on the uh, road racing, time trialing uh, for the club at a, a junior level. By that point, when I'd come back, they'd actually started the, the youth development squad, which is the uh, essentially the, uh, the higher end of the Go Ride session, uh, section for the children to, who really want to take their racing seriously to go for like, a regional level uh, British cycling road racing. And from there, as I said, I was still a little bit on the porky side, and then uh, I came into my first year as a junior, under 18, where I joined the race team, which is the kit I'm wearing here, which had been recently set up and I was actually the, the first child to go from the full go ride youth development school to the race team which is sort of the pathway it was set up to do so uh, I was the, the, the first proper one to do that and obviously Oliver Robinson's come through as well we were the two sort of essentially the children of the the Thanet sort of uh, youth section and then obviously we're both doing pretty well at the moment so it's a, mm. a testament up to how good the, the youth section has been compared to uh, Ten years previously, when no clubs really had a go ride section at all, and then obviously now I'm in my second season as a junior, sort of racing around, doing pretty well hopefully, uh, and then I'm off to uni next year. But obviously I'll stay with the Thanet because they've been so so good to me, uh, developing me from this sort of this child that didn't really know that much about bike racing to. Uh, the point where I've uh, I've actually I'm the county time trial champion, so it's a bit of a leap from where I was sort of, uh, six or seven years ago, even four years ago really, and then um, on the volunteer side as well, I've I'm taken that quite seriously too. I've helped out a go ride. Uh, Fanet actually paid for me to become a well, uh, Fanet actually half paid for me to become a a go ride qualified coach. I'm a level one coach, which is actually. The, the most I can be because you have to be 18 to take your level 2 which I will do when I'm 18 but I'm still 17 uh, I've also uh, joined British Cycling International Youth Forum which is 12 people the, uh, one from each region to represent uh, youth, youth cycling essentially within BC who are 
uh, they really take a big role in sort of the new decisions. Uh, there's recently been some new regulations imposed on uh, youth racing, which was a big part of that was consulting the youth forum. Uh, so that again was thanks to Fanet, who uh, really backed me to get that.